Hi. Now what we've got to do is show that sine 3 theta is identical to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta. And how are we going to do this? Well, we start by taking the sine 3 theta and saying that it's identical to sine of 2 theta plus theta. Now, you should know the expansion of what we call a plus b, the sine of a plus b. Let me just show you. You should know that the sine of a plus b, and you can find this formula if you haven't learnt it in most formula books, but it's the sine of a cos b plus the sine of b cos a. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is have the a as the 2 theta and the b as the theta. So what this is going to turn out to be is that this is the same as the sine of a, a being the 2 theta, times cosine of b, but that's b is the theta, so that's cos of theta, plus, okay, sine b, so that would be the sine of theta and then cos a, cos of 2 theta. Okay? Right, so now into the next step. Now we've got the sine of 2 theta and we've got to get this in terms of the angle theta. So again, another identity that you should know, and that is that the sine of 2a, the double angle, is identical to 2 sine a cos a. So in this particular case, the a is theta. We would have sine of 2 theta if a stood for theta. So therefore, the sine of 2 theta is going to be 2 sine theta cos theta. So that's what I'm going to write in place of this. 2 sine theta cos theta. And then we've got all of this multiplied by that cos theta there. So that's going to be cos squared theta. Okay? Now we come on to this one here and we have plus sine theta, that's okay. But we've got cos 2 theta. And again, you should know another identity for the cosine of 2a. The cos 2a is identical to, well in fact there's 3 here, okay. The one that um, you'll often see first of all is cos squared a minus sine squared a. We could use this one, but knowing that cos squared a is the same as 1 minus sine squared a, we can rewrite this as 1 minus sine squared a minus another sine squared a. In other words, 1 minus 2 sine squared a. And you should know that one, okay? So, if we're looking at cos 2 theta, where the a is theta, cos 2 theta will be 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So we can use that here and say that cos 2 theta is the same as 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Alright? Now, all we need to do is expand this bracket out here. We'll just write this first term in. So we've got 2 sine theta cos squared theta. Ah, we've got the cos squared theta. And we ought to change that because we need it all in terms of sine. So cos squared theta, again from an identity, you should know that cos squared of any angle is the same as 1 minus sine squared of that angle. So this becomes 1 minus sine squared of theta. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just write that last bracket in again. So I'll have sine theta bracket 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Well now we'll multiply out all the brackets. So we have 2 sine theta times 1, so that's 2 sine theta. 2 sine theta times minus sine squared theta is going to be minus 2 sine cubed theta. And then if we expand this bracket, sine theta times 1 is sine theta. 
and then sine theta times the minus 2 sine squared theta is going to be minus 2 sine cube theta. So we've got it all in terms of sine now. All we need to do is look up here and see if we can get this now. Well, we've got 3 sine theta. Have we got 3 sine theta down here? Yes, we have. We've got 2 sine theta plus that sine theta. So that's 3 sine theta. And we need minus 4 sine cube theta. And you can see we've got that here. Minus 2 sine cube theta minus another 2 sine cube theta gives us that minus 4 sine cube theta. OK, so very important then that you remember these identities in order to do this. Well, that brings us now to the end of this part.